Thanks, George Washington. Wish me luck, Warren G. Hardy. you so much, the cutest actor ever who was an X-Men who played Nightcrawler. Oh. Taylor is coming, 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 Mrs. Hepworth, are you ready? Mrs. Taylor, I was born ready. Tidings, everyone, and welcome to the Saber Roar. I'm Mrs. Kaler. And I'm Mrs. Hepworth. Mrs. Hepworth and I are very excited to be hosting today's episode of the Saber Roar. It is also exciting for Ben Hansing. Yes, you, Ben, and Mr. Johnson's resource was our first winner of the Find the Hidden Saber contest. As we speak, Ben is receiving a Saber Roar Superfan t-shirt and a free cafeteria cookie for finding the Saber in the last show. Congrats, Ben. The saber was hidden under the basket in the chili contest story. Students, keep your eye out for the saber in today's show. If you see the saber, email the saber roar at franklinsabers.org to win a t-shirt and a free lunchroom cookie. Keep your eyes open. After many strategic moves, the FHS chess team has made the other schools their pawns. The new and improved chess team has done amazing taking first place at conference. In the years before, the chess team has not partaken in competitive tournaments because of the lack of interest and dedication. Well, first of all, I think this team has put in more work than the other teams um, throughout the conference. Um, we've put a lot of time during our practices uh, working on mental drills to train our visualization, as well as tactics, opening, and end game preparation. But this year, with a high of nine members and great leadership from Coach Benish and Wiedenhoff, they are ready to take over the chess bracket. Chess is cool. They later went on to state and took first place for Franklin High School. A job well done, chess team. And checkmate. I win. This is the biggest failure since the French and Indian War. Sorry, George. Along with all the other construction, the high school pool is currently being renovated. Along with the changes to the pool deck, the new pool will be deeper and longer to be able to hold varsity swim invites. The expected date for the opening of the new pool is June 15th. The second blood drive of the year was a success. There were 68 donors who gave a total of 65 pints of blood. The blood was collected by the American Red Cross, who then distributes the blood to 3,000 hospitals nationwide. Thank you to Mr. Decker and the Student Senate for sponsoring this event. FHS junior Jamie has a few things that she wants to do before she leaves Franklin, and she wants you to be part of her high school bucket list. As a junior, I'm starting to realize that my childhood is nearly over. I spend so much time worrying about homework and APs in college that I lose sight of the importance of having fun once in a while. So, I decided to create a bucket list of everything I wanted to do before I graduate from high school. And I need your help. With all of the extracurriculars and whatnot I have going on, I need some guidance in writing this list. We got for that? And who better to get it from than my peers? You guys are the most creative and hilarious and unique and intelligent people I know. So this should be easy. Um. Uh. Um, I can start. I think that you should go skydiving because it seems like a lot of fun. You should go skydiving. Go skydiving with James Earl Jones. Bungee jumping or skydiving, something that really gets the adrenaline pumping. Okay, this might be a little harder than I had anticipated. Let's try this again. Um, 
you should have a conversation with a random stranger. Try horseback riding. I think on your bucket list you should definitely travel, see the world, and um, do what you love. You should eat worms. You should definitely kick it with Mr. Noah one day. Ask Ms. Gooderon for her number. You could go swimming in the fish pond. You guys have given me some really interesting ideas about what I should do in my future here at FHS. As for my bucket list, well, you guys will just have to wait and see. If you have any ideas for Jamie's bucket list other than skydiving, make sure to let her know via email or tweet us at the Saber Roar. Franklin offers several AP classes in many subjects, but this year we got to see how we compare to other schools nationwide. The AP Honor Roll is a list made by the College Board recognizing schools that have increased the number of students enrolled in advanced placement courses as well as the percent who passed the final AP test. This year, Franklin exceeded the required pass rate with 81% of students scoring a three or higher on their tests. I think it's a testament to our teachers and their preparation uh, for teaching AP courses and for our students who are committed to taking a rigorous course of study. Good job to all our AP scholars and keep it AP classy, Franklin. Save a Roar member and Twitter King, Robbie, has started a weekly Twitter giveaway contest for the Saber Roar followers. Hello FHS, we are going to initiate a Twitter contest every week, and for the first week I thought it would be a good idea to get us a t-shirt. So here's our winner of the first week, congratulations Sam. Thank you. How do you feel about winning? Oh, absolutely awesome, greatest decision I ever made to retweet. Awesome shirt, really a one in a million chance, you know? I mean, it really is the lottery pick, so um, make sure keep, make sure to um, re retweet it every week, and um, keep a lookout for that. So, thank you, Sam, thanks for retweeting it. We appreciate you yeah. supporting the Saber Roar. Tough. See you guys next week. Follow the Saber Roar on Twitter and you could win. It was quite a show with everyone watching, but sadly, our time has come to an end. In the words of Dr. Seuss, today was good, today was fun, tomorrow is another one. Mrs. Kaler, would you like to say some words to the fans of the Saber Roar? Tell them the answer to the Native American question. I can't, George. They must find out for themselves. It is your duty to your school and your country to share the knowledge of the forefathers. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you for watching today's show. Please tune in next time for the next episode of Little Saber Fufu. Love him or hate him, you want to know where he's hiding. I'm Mrs. Hepworth. And I'm Mrs. Taylor. Thanks for watching. Hashtag do your homework. YOLO! Hello and welcome to another weekly edition of the Student Uproar. Today we'd like to recognize Raven Miller as she was nominated by Mrs. Petrie Bohm for her compassion in helping a classmate who was feeling ill. Now during class she noticed that Alec mentioned here that she was feeling pretty ill, so she took her right to the health room and explained the whole situation. Good job, Raven. Enjoy your movie passes. And now we'd like to present a poem by Mrs. Dennis. Inquisitive, determined, and always on task insightfully choosing which question to ask. When she comes to class, all of her work is complete. With English first hour, that's really a feat. She helps fellow classmates and brings smiles to this teacher. I cannot say enough about this lovely young creature. Annotations mapped out, discussion sublime. I'd nominate this gal for an uproar time after time. So I am proud to announce that the girl I must thank ye is none other than the delightful Carolyn Henke.